pizzazzle. Is that a word? Hello my friends, welcome back to my channel, I'm Serena and this week is going to be a little bit different. I think I'm causing my own panic attack because in less than five days I'm going to go see Six the Musical and since I am a huge history fan and bounding girl and all together just crazy lady, I've decided to make an outfit based on one of my favorite characters in Six, Catherine of Aragon. I'm a huge reader and I'm a big fan of Philippa Gregory's Tudor novel series. My favorite book in that series is The Constant Princess, which is a historical fiction story about Catherine of Aragon. So I wasn't even going to plan on making an outfit to go see this musical because I have a lot on my plate already. But a couple of weeks ago, my daughter and I went to the Goodwill Bins and she found this for me. It is a completely 90s leather sweatshirt in this awesome, like, diamond shaped. And as soon as I saw this, it kind of just reminded me of the costumes from Six the Musical, the diamonds, the Tudors. Just everything screamed, I need to bound Catherine of Eric on. So that's what I'm going to be doing today. This is a little bit advanced for my liking. This whole sweatshirt is basically leather diamonds crocheted together. It is fully lined in the inside and the tag even says it's from 1991. It's a 1991 copyright. As much as I would love to have just a regular sweatshirt, I have this awesome t-shirt of Catherine of Aragon. So I am going to end up making this into a jacket. This also smells of old stuff. Like you know that like musty hurts your nostrils thrift store smell? That's what this smells like. So I am planning on cleaning the leather with some baby shampoo. I am also going to take some acetone to the white diamonds because I'm going to use some leather paint that I bought from Amazon to paint the white diamonds gold. I'm going to then, after the paint is dried, I'm going to cut up the middle. Hopefully I won't mess up the crocheted stitching in between each diamond. And then I bought some oh, gold studs to kind of stud it out, just like the queens from Six of the Musical have all over their costume. What I am going to try to do is also make a skirt, kind of a skirt, to go over this, but I have two thrifted leather jackets that I'm going to be using. I don't know if I have enough leather, but hopefully I'll have enough of that. And then to round out the Aragon look, I have... Where did my headband go? <laughs> I have a headband and I bought from Amazon again these large little spikes to make a headpiece for that. I have a lot to chew on this week, a lot of stuff that I have never done. I've only worked with leather and it was a small little bit like once or twice. I'm not exactly sure if I'm going to be able to do it. To help me craft the leather skirt, I have this black leather belt, then going to probably hand baste everything together. It seems that Aragon had a couple of costume redesigns throughout the history of Six the Musical, so I think I'm going to take elements of all three. Well, from my knowledge, she's had about three costume designs. I'm going to take the diamonds from the first costume. I'm going to take the gold trim like hatchwork. Of course the, the, the big theme of it all is Aragon is wearing gold and black and she has lots of spikes. So hopefully by the time I'm finished with this at least it won't be falling apart and it will kind of read six Catherine of Aragon all of that. So I'm gonna stop blabbing. I'm gonna start working because I'm not gonna lie, I'm very, very overwhelmed. A bit of baby shampoo and my favorite podcast produced by History Ticks, I was able to get this thing smelling somewhat okay. At least it doesn't sting the nostrils anymore. Consider this a PSA of cleaning anything you bring home from thrifting. Look at that dirty water, y'all. And I didn't even do that great of a job cleaning it. I'm not sure that this step was necessary, but the internet told me to strip the leather with 100% acetone in order for the paint to stick better. So that's what I did before painting with this metallic gold paint I found on Amazon. It took in total five thin layers to get an opaque gold to come through over the white leather diamonds. 
While the gold paint dried, I started cutting up the side seams of my thrifted black leather coat. I got really lucky and the leather in this coat is from lambskin so it was super easy to cut and then super easy later to sew. The basic shape of my skirt is a circle. There was not enough whole pieces in this jacket to cut a circle skirt using one piece so I ended up cutting the largest piece from the back and arms using my tape measure to swing the diameter measurement. In order to get my skirt to look like Six's Aragon paneled skirt, I cut up the side seams of my sleeves and front piece of the coat to make up the front of the circle skirt. This design element actually worked out in my favor since I didn't have enough leather to make a complete circle skirt out of one piece. I was able to layer the arms and the chest piece on top of the back piece to make it look like those panels in the show. Here is the back. I pinned it in. So the back is not exactly how her skirt shape is in the show but it's as, as good as I can get for the amount of leather that I have. Now the front I think I figured out how to do those warrior armor panels without like showing too much. So in the show Catherine has like these warrior panels and there are two different tiers. So you have this upper one I am not going to get the body like she has in the show. It's just, it, there's not structure to this leather. It's just gonna have to do. So what I did is put my arm piece down and I think I'm gonna end up cutting it right here and pin it probably right to that seam and then cut it off. I just want to make sure that I'm covered right here. So there is going to be a difference between the back skirt and the front because I don't have that much fabric and I don't have like that ruffle right here. Hopefully this will look right and it won't. I think I'm going to think about it more. 2,000 years later. And so for the front like armor pieces with the pockets, I was going to try to make the pockets as functional as possible in order for this to lay right. So this is originally the left pocket. It was on the left hand side and you know you would reach down and everything. But I just couldn't get it to lay right without like this pocket part which is weighing it forward because Aragon's plates kind of go out that way so I'm going to switch them. I'll still be able to use the pockets, but maybe not, I might not be able to fit my phone in it. I'm going to try to fit my phone in it, but we shall see. So I'm going to take it, see the waistband's right here, so I'm probably going to put the armor plate right, right here where the pocket slip is. After getting the pieces where I wanted, I trimmed off the extra on the top of the belt and trimmed the bottom of the skirt so everything could lay nice and even with the back. In order to make sure everything went back to the right spot after studying them out, I took a sharpie marker and marked the placement of each place on the belt. It's the next day. I got a lot of stuff accomplished yesterday, a lot more than I thought I was going to. So I was able to get, where'd my sweater go? I was able to get all of the triangles painted gold. It looks more yellow on the camera than it is, but it has this nice little metallic gold. I will probably want to do like one more coat. I only have about three or four coats on here now and it's still not opaque enough for me. The thing still smells like a bit like I don't know what they use to dye it but it just feels very like chemical and when I came down to my workroom this morning it smelled like a legit like vintage store inside my workroom. So I'm still on the fence like what to do about that smell. I was also able to cut up that leather jacket and get the skirt portion out. Was able to pin everything in place and now I thought I was going to sew the skirt pieces onto the belt band but I think it'll be easier for me to stud it, stud the, the panels out first and then attach it to the belt band. But I can't stud them out until I make sure I have enough studs for my top. So that leads me to the task of the day. I got my machine set up. I have yellow thread in it 
because I don't have any gold thread. And I have a leather needle, a needle specifically made for sewing leather in my band, my machine, but I don't know if I'm supposed to like mess with the settings or anything. We shall see. So I'm going to very carefully cut down the v-neck and turn this sweatshirt into a jacket or a cardigan. So my biggest concern is cutting through the crocheted bits that are holding each individual leather panel together. I'm just going to cut in hope that it won't completely unravel by the time I put my bias tape on. Which I'm hoping that when I put the bias tape on it'll hold all the cut crocheted bits and everything will be okay. And this bias tape is a fourth of an inch wide. I'm hoping again that this is thick enough. And so after I do that I'm going to go in and put a stud at every uh, corner piece where the leather tiles come up together. I'll put a leather stud. I think if I did my calculations right, I will, after studying this out, I'll have at least 44 of those studs to play around the skirt. I probably should go ahead and order another pack of 100 studs, because I, I feel like 44 may not be enough to stud out the skirt. But I also have those grommets that I use. They are antique brass that I used for my Outlander purse a couple of videos back. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and start. By the way, I spilled some of my acetone yesterday and it definitely ate away my finish on my worktop. Note to self, this stuff is very, very corrosive. Should have wore a glove. I don't like how this looks. One, I didn't catch it all the way. It just looks, it just looks cheap to me. So I think I'm, I have, hold on. Yeah, so this gold lame trim, it, it's not gonna work. It's too thin to where I want it to be and it looks just kind of cheap. I might still use it on the skirt, but I'm not sure. My options are to use the scrap of my leather coat. So I have the two pieces that went over the zipper. So I'm going to try to make like bias tape or some type of tape to encase those edges. All right, so I decided to make my life a little bit easier and go ahead and use my brads that I use on my Outlander purse project for the peaks of the triangles on my jacket. Only because one, I'm not sure if I have enough of these screw on spiky guys and two they're spiky guys so I feel like if I when I'm sitting in the seat watching the musical this is going to be uncomfortable on my back so I'm going to save all of these for the skirt I'm not exactly sure I'm going to use them on the skirt because I'm going to have the same problem you know sitting in the seat and all of that <laughs> before I put that leather strip to close up the jacket I'm going to go ahead and put all these brads in because I have the lining open and that'll make my life easier as well going through the second to the largest size I'm going to use in let's hope I have enough because I think I only have a hundred of them which oh, I think I needed like 150 Mm, I guess we'll just we'll just see we'll just see um, if not I will maybe put them in my cart Spoiler! I ended up running out of those brads and had to make a quick Amazon order for more which actually came out to be a good thing because I ended up using a lot of those brads in the skirt too I couldn't believe that using the zipper trim from my leather coat actually worked out for the binding of my Aragon jacket. I felt like Catherine herself was shining on me on this project because honestly, I don't know how lucky I was when making this outfit with the limited amount of materials I had on hand. So Catherine, if you were shining on me, thanks a lot, clean. <laughs> Hello, I am finished studying out. I love it. I love it. It, it reminds me very much of a doublet, like a Tudor doublet. Oh, I just, you know, just 
just a little bit of brads. <laughs> okay, so today's task is to finish out my jacket. I cut out the lapel, like where the zipper was on my leather coat, and I studded it out with, not only I studded it out with the flat brads, is it going to focus? I started out with the flat brads and plus the spiky brads just to give it a little pizzazzle. Pizzazzle? Is that a word? I like that I was able to upcycle the trim from the leather jacket because it is already biased. It's already like all I had to do is just slip this up over the raw edges and, and be done. I think I probably would have rather done two rows of the trim but there's no room for it so today's task though is to finish this up and move over to the skirt stud out the panels and then sew it up I'm going to be taking this bias tape and doing the pattern on the skirt so now I was looking at Aragon's six costume and it has gone through a couple of renditions so I'm gonna try to combine all of those renditions into this one skirt I'm going to take the bias strips that she has in this one and do the underskirt in like these, I don't know, like hash marks type things. But I'm, I also have the plates. I really wish I had gold diamonds, but I couldn't, like I could probably take my cream leather jacket and paint them. I got an idea! I think I'm going to try that. I'm going to take my cream leather jacket that I have sitting here that I haven't cut open yet and paint it gold to see if I can get the checkers on it. I may hate myself for doing that because I only have three days until the musical, but if I want those gold squares, that's what I'm going to have to do. I'm going to stud out the panels using the flat brads. Oh, and then I also have to make her headband. I have a lot of stuff to do. <laughs> the, the easiest for me to do this is to measure a quarter of an inch between each other and then the bottom I'm gradually increasing a quarter of an inch and then I'm just taking my sharpie and drawing a straight line so when I go to stitch it I know where to place the trim edge and then that way I will get the crisscross hopefully happening soon Hello! I have about 24 hours to complete this project and I don't even have a skirt. I have skirt pieces, but nothing really wearable. But good news, I do have a jacket, so if all else fails, I'll just wear a jacket and leggings. Maybe today's task is to finish up the skirt. I Last night, I colored this leather. The idea to use this leather is to cut it up in squares and place them in a diamond motif on the front skirt panels just like Aragon does in the musical. Well, as as close to Aragon as I can get. I think I'm gonna go with half inch squares. I'm gonna play around with that. In order to not waste decorations on places in the skirt that are layered, I use Taylor's chalk outline where that top skirt flap is. That way I know not to put any studs underneath it. Okay, so let's figure out this headband situation. Ron wears a headpiece and it looks like a crown and then she has eight spikes. So I think I'm gonna try to go for eight, but I'm not sure. I think where I want to, I want, maybe want the spikes to start right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and mark that on the headband and then take the measurements and figure out how I'm gonna do this because I'm not sure. We're just gonna, we're gonna figure it out together. I ended up cutting a strip of leather the length I needed it to be by the width of the headband plus a couple of centimeters of overage. Alternated between the long spikes and the brads that I used on the rest of the outfit. I punched each hole separately and after I installed the previous spike or brad. I felt like I needed a little more height, so I went back in and glued the little spikes onto the brads to give the headband more dimension, and like Aragon Six's costume. And now all I had left to do was to glue it onto the black headband. 
I suggest getting yourself a pokey thing like this. I don't even know what this is, but it worked. It helped me put pilot holes into my leather. And by the way, putting the studs into the skirt tore up my fingers, but they were well worth it. I soon figured out with the skirt, more is actually more. It seemed like the more brats and more studs I threw at it, the more it started looking like a sexy musical worthy costume piece. Wow, so that was like the longest work day ever. It is now six o'clock. I think I started at like 9.30, 6.30 right now, and I'm still working. So I'm gonna take the rest of the evening and sit in front of the, the TV. Actually, I'm watching The Spanish Princess, which is the historical fiction story of Catherine of Aragon on Star. So if you haven't seen that, I highly, highly recommend it. This looks fabulous. My steps now is to actually sew the skirt panels onto the belt. So that's what I'm gonna be doing on the couch tonight. And then after I do all of that, I don't think I'll have time today. I'll probably do it tomorrow morning. The Spanish princess and prince of her Hey, my friends. Tis the next day and she is almost finished. So and everything looks pretty good. I mean, I think I have about two hours before I leave to get a haircut and then the show is tonight so I don't have very much time. So today's task is to go with a Sharpie and color in these white lines and figure out how to put, hi, hi bubbies. Figure out how to put the pocket in through this flap and stud out this bottom layer and then I'm just gonna be done. Get started because I only have two hours. In order to get the pocket through to the second layer, I just marked and cut a line through that layer and then just cut a slit and push the pocket in. It was actually really easy and everything fit okay. And to finally finish out this project, I had to put just a couple of rows, you know, just a little, little more studs to really push this costume over to the edge of six worthy. Y'all, the disaster in my workroom the next day after making a mad dash to the finish line in order to get to the show on time shows how close I was cutting it. But I would have this mess a hundred times over to have this outfit in my closet. This has got to be like one of the best like cosplays I have done so far. And the best, like the most satisfying because I literally took a thrifted, nobody wanted coat and made it into something really amazing. last making the six inspired Aragon cosplay. If you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to this channel for more videos like this. Bye.